The Life and Sad Ending of John Malkovich John Malkovich was born John Gavin Malkovich on December 9, 1953 in Christopher, Illinois, United States of America, to Daniel Malkovich and Joe Ann. His father was the conservation director for the state of Illinois and publisher of Outdoor Illinois, while his mother owned Benton Evening News. He was overweight as a child and was often made fun of by his elder brother. Resolving to lose weight, he ate nothing but jello for four months and shed several pounds. He attended Benton Consolidated High School and appeared in a number of plays during high school. He was also part of the folk rock music band. He enrolled at Eastern Illinois University and later went on to Illinois State University, where he majored in theater. Malkovich joined Steppenwolf Theater Company in 1976, along with his friends Joan Allen, Gary Sinise, and Glenn Headley. He got noticed for his performance in Sam Shepard's family tragedy, Curse of the Starving Class, at Goodman Theater in 1978. In 1980, he appeared in Sam Shepard's play, True West, for which he won an Obby Award. This was followed by a role in the A Streetcar Named Desire in Chicago's Wisdom Bridge Theater in 1982. After gaining prominence at stage actor, he started playing film roles. Initially, he could land only minor roles. During the 1980s, he started landing substantial roles in films. Malkovich played a blind boarder in the 1984 Depression-era film Places in the Heart. He was much appreciated for his portrayal of Mr. Will, is often considered his breakthrough role. He was nominated for an Academy Award for the role. In 1985, he acted alongside Dustin Hoffman, Kate Reed, and Stephen Lang in the CBS made-for-television film Death of a Salesman. The film was based in 1949 play of the same name by Arthur Miller. The film was a big hit. He appeared in Stephen Frears' historical drama Dangerous Liaisons in 1988. He played the Admiral Victim de Vallon, who was chosen by an evil marquis to seduce an innocent young girl and ruin her. His performance was much appreciated by film critics. Malkovich portrayed Mitch Leary, a psychotic assassin in the crime thriller film In the Line of Fire in 1993. The story resolves around a disillusioned former CIA agent who attempts to assassinate the President of the United States. In 1999, he played the fictionalized version of himself in the comedy fantasy fantasy film Being John Malkovich. The film also had John Cusack, Cameron Diaz, and Catherine Keener in important roles. He won several awards and allocates for his role. He acted in the television historical miniseries Napoleon in 2002. He played Charles Talleyrand in the series, which explored the real life of Napoleon Bonaparte and his military successes and failures. It was the most expensive miniseries made in Europe in 2002. He featured in the 2007 documentary film Polis Is This, The Charles Olson and Persistence of a Place, which was a film about a distinguished poet. He was part of the ensemble cast of the action comedy Red in 2010, which had actors like Bruce Willis, Morgan Freeman, and Helen Marin. His other movies in the mid-2010s included Lines of Wellington, Warm Bodies, and Cesar Chavez. In 2016, he was the cast in the disaster movie Deepwater Horizon. The following year, he was part of the romantic comedy The Willed Wedding, where he was seen alongside Glenn Close, Patrick Stewart, and Minnie Driver. Malkovich was one of the lead characters in American-Bulgarian crime thriller Bullethead. The following year, he was part of the action thriller Mile 22. In 2018, he starred alongside Sandra Bullock in Netflix post-apocalyptic thriller Bird Box. The following year, he was seen in the controversial biographical movie Extremely Wicked, Shockingly Evil, and Vile, which he based on the life of a serial killer, Ted Bundy. In the meantime, John also has recurring roles in TV series such as Crossbones, Billions, The ABC Murders, and The New Pope. In 2020, the actor played Dr. Adrian Mulroy on the main character's Netflix series Space Force. His upcoming projects include Ava and El Tonto. 
a creative director, John has also directed many plays and movies, including theatrical productions of Good Cannery, for which he won the Moller Award for Best Director. In personal life, Malkovich married actress Glenn Headley in 1982. It was reported that he had a fling with Michelle Pfeiffer, which ended his marriage in 1988. In 1989, he started a relationship with Nicoletta Piran, with whom he has two children. He is the co-owner of a restaurant named Bica de Zapato in Lisbon. Probably right now is the worst time in his health as it's slowly deteriorating. Thank you for listening to the story about the life of John Malkovich. Did you like it? Like and comment on your opinion in the comment section below.